All right, so for this problem, we're asked to determine if these two sets of forces, uh, so A, we've got one 100 Newton force acting eight meters out in this cantilever beam, uh, and in B, we've got uh, a 40 Newton force and a 60 Newton force uh, acting six meters and 10 meters out, respectively, on cantilever beam B. So we've got the same beam in both cases, but we've got two different sets of forces here. Uh, so for this, we're asked to determine if they're statically equivalent. And that means that they're going to cause the same reactions at uh, the base here. So our reaction forces uh, are what we need to solve for. So over here, uh, with a cantilever beam and a fixed support like this, it's preventing motion in the Y. So we're going to have Fy. It's preventing motion in the X. We're going to have Fx. And it's preventing rotation. So we are also going to have a moment acting here. Uh, in, the same, in the same way uh, as uh, beam A, beam B is going to have a reaction force in the X, a reaction force in the Y, and a reaction moment. So the way we go about checking to see if these are statically equivalent we need to check to see if these reaction forces are the same. And at this point, it's really just solving the equilibrium equations to figure out these forces. Uh, so let's start with A. So for A, um, I've got sum of forces in the X uh, is going to be, uh, I've got this FX force, and that's it. So FX equals zero. So what forces in the Y? Well, I've got this Y reaction force and my negative 100 Newton force that uh, is exerted on the beam. So I'm going to have Fy minus 100 equals zero. And I can solve that and say, you know, Fy equals 100 Newtons. So I've got Fx up here, that's zero. Fy is 100 newtons. And my moment uh, is the next part. So I'm going to take the moment about the base of the beam. So this point right here, I'm going to do that in both of them. I'm going to do it on B later as well. Uh, so if I take the moment about that point, uh, I'm going to have uh, the sum of moment about, let's call it C. Some of the moments about C, well, I've got my moment, my reaction moment M, uh, and this force over here, my 100 Newton force, uh, is going to exert a moment about that point. Uh, so it's 100 Newtons times perpendicular distance, which is 8 meters, uh, and if I use my right hand rule for this moment, uh, I'll find it's a negative moment. So minus 100 Newtons times 8 meters. Uh, and that's going to be my moment of the force. So, and that's the only two things that exert a moment, because Fx and Fy both act through that point, they exert no moment. So that is equal to zero. Uh, and I can solve this here. M is going to be equal to 800 Newton meters. And that's the moment at my reaction support there. All right, so next I need to go to B. So I'm going to make a little space here. Actually, let's do this. So looking at B, I'm going to have the following. So sum of forces in the X. Uh, and I've got Fx, and that's really it. So Fx equals zero. All right, sum of forces in the Y. Uh, I'm going to have my Fy reaction force. I'm going to have negative 40, and I'm going to have negative 60. So Fy minus 40 minus 60 equals 0. So I already know my F of X. If I solve for F of Y here, I'm going to get F of Y is equal to 100 newtons. 
All right, finally I need to solve for the moment. So the moment about C uh, is going to be my moment M, my reaction moment, uh, and that's positive with my right-hand rule. Uh, and then I get a moment from this 40 newton force. So 40 newtons times my distance, 6 meters, that's my perpendicular distance. Uh, and that's going to be a negative moment with my right-hand rule. So minus 40 newtons times 60 meters. And then I also have a moment from the 60 newton force. So 60 newtons and my distance is going to be 10 meters. So it's a perpendicular distance from C out to my force of 10 meters. Uh, and also, if I do my right hand rule, I find that it's going to be a negative moment as well. So minus 60 newtons times 10 meters. And that's equal to zero. All right, so I can solve for m right here, and I find, if I solve this out, m is going to be equal to uh, 840 newton meters. All right, so now I just need to compare my reaction forces. So in A, uh, fx equals zero. In B, I've got fx equals zero. For y, for b I've got 100 newtons for fy, for a I've got 100 newtons for fy. So those two are equal. Finally, the moments. So in a, I've got 800 newton meters uh, at the base over here, but at b, or for situation b, I've got 840 newton meters. So the moments are not equal at the base here. This moment is 800 newton meters, this is 840 newton meters. So these are not statically equivalent because all of the reactions have to be the same. So with that, I've kind of solved my problem. I've determined these are not statically equivalent. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.